YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another mystery box from Surge Up Mystery Boxes. So, very excited to open this one up. The last couple boxes I've done from them have been pretty good, but this box, I'm hoping for a big grail. The top grail in this box was the Notorious B.I.G. That's been one that I've uh, has evaded me for a very long time, so hoping to get that in here. But they did have some other cool ones that I'll go over with you guys real fast. So let's open this up and see what we got. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content, and hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So like I said, this was from Surge Up Mystery Boxes. A lot of people have been asking me how to purchase those boxes. You have to follow them on Instagram. I'll put their Instagram right there, and they'll let you know all the other details from there. Um, but they did have this box they dropped, I think, last week where the Notorious B.I.G. was the top pop in the box, but I did have some other cool things in there that I wanted to get my hands on. They had the Super Sonic from GameStop um, that's gonna actually would go with the uh, two-pack I got from San Diego Comic-Con, and it also had the Alex Armstrong from uh, Metal Gear, which I've started to watch as well, and uh, a few other ad icons, but those were the ones I really wanted the most with the Notorious B.I.G.s, and I've had to settle one of those other two, uh, maybe even the April O'Neil or Tywin Lannister, or the uh, Hulk Hogan. So there's the picture right there so you guys can see. That was the middle tier stuff. And I guess this was the higher tier stuff that was available. So I'm gonna unbox this and I'm hoping for that biggie, but anything else will do. So I don't think it mentioned on there how many pops would there be in the box. We'll just do these one by one and hopefully we strike gold. So they always do a pretty good job with wrapping these. So I'm gonna have to try hard not to see what's in here. So this one does not feel like it's in the protector, so we'll do this one first. First pop. Oh, okay, so this is actually one I was looking for for a while and just never really pulled the trigger. This is Red from the Pirates of Caribbean. Now, if I remember correctly, this is from the Pirates of Caribbean ride and not the movie. Maybe the person that Kira Knightley played was her in the movie. I don't really remember that movie. It's so long ago. So if you guys know anything, drop down in the comment section down below. But this is a pop that's pretty cool. You, know, you guys know I'm a Disney collector, so the Disney pops are always a must for me. So uh, this one's really, really dope. It's, uh, as you can see, a Disney Parks exclusive. Um, but yeah, really cool one. I, I don't think this one um, sold out. I think it's still actually available in the Disney Park. It's one of those ones that they um, initially had some hype, but I think it's kind of died down. Um, but I'm not too sure. I'm going to check the value on this one. But either way, it's a cool one. I think the only Pirates of Caribbean, Caribbean pop I had is uh, Jack Sparrow. I think I have the old school one of him. But um, I didn't get really any of the other ones. The Captain Barbosa one is pretty nice, um, but kind of just haven't pulled the trigger on any of them. But this one's pretty dope. I actually have to put it in manually because there is no barcode on it. But she's going for a grand total of, huh. Now this is weird because there's two different ones of her, but actually this is it. It is twenty-two dollars. So I don't really can I can't really tell the difference between the two uh, red pops. If you guys know anything about that, drop it down in the comment section below. But the only thing I can tell is there's two different uh, boxes. But to start this off with a twenty-two dollar pop is a win. All right, guys. So we're gonna unbox. This one also doesn't feel like it's a protector. It's just a bubble wrap. So let's see what we got here. Number two. That's close, but no cigar. This is the Notorious V.I.G. with Fedora. I believe I have this one. Um, all my Biggie Pops are actually in storage at the moment. I definitely have the one with the crown and uh, the one back there from um, the jersey. I think that's from the uh, Juicy music video. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't really know if I have this one or not, but I will take it if I don't have it. The old school Biggie's, again, the one I'm looking for. Um, Biggie, to me, has always been better than the Tupac. not even really a debate. Um, it's not even close. Biggie is way better than the Pac. I know I'm going to get a dislike from somebody because of that, but I can't do anything but tell you guys the truth. But he's going for a total of 11 bucks, And I don't... Nope, I don't have this one. So this is actually a new um, piece of my collection. So there you go. 
Victorious B.I.G. Number two pop. All right, so so far two in and no no duplicates. That's all I really ever hope for in mystery boxes. So this one right here is in a protector, and this pop is not. So we'll do this one third. Number three. Okay, so this is Female Psycho from Borderlands 3. Um, I don't know much about this. It looks like it was a GameStop exclusive. I've never played Borderlands. I've heard some good things about it. Um, the pops look cool. I don't know much about them, but they tend to have a decent uh, value. We'll check in a second just to be sure, but this Female Psycho is pretty cool looking. I know there's a regular Psycho that I've unboxed in the past, and um, yeah, it's got that I don't know what the difference between this GameStop sticker is and the others. I think it's part of like their fan club, but I see that available just at the retail store. So if anybody knows why that sticker is there instead of the regular GameStop one, let me know in the comment section down below. But let's see what this one's going for. This female cycle is going for a grand total of nine bucks. So it only came out last year, 2019. It's still available. So um, yeah, not much more I can say about it. Probably won't be one I keep just because I don't know anything about her and I don't play the game um, but yeah overall a cool looking pop so three for three no duplicates um, I'm not gonna do the math in my head right now but I think we're around like the $40 mark so this pop last pop has to be at least $60 um, because they do actually guarantee the value on them so this one feels like it's in a protector it's in a hard stack don't tell me this is Viggy don't tell me this is the Viggy Pop. If this is the Viggy Pop, I'm going to be very, very excited. So, the other ones I showed you guys, you have the Cap America. They had the Add Icons ones, which also could be in a hard stack. But I'm going to convince myself I got the Viggy. Ah, oh, man. So, it's in this purple bubble wrap, or pink. I was colorblind for a second. But that's pretty cool. I've never seen that color bubble wrap. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna open up or show you guys this box. I'll let you guys see it first, and you guys can tell me if I got something good. Number four. Oh! Wow! <laughs> we have the notorious B I G. <laughs> Wow, so I guess this is the top grail in the box. So it's got a little bit damaged, but I don't care about that at all. That's Biggie looking out for me from down from heaven, telling me, telling the world that he's better than Pac. He blessed me with this grail. So, wow, guys. So this pop, I've had my eye on for a, little, a long time. There's this one. I think it's a glow and a dark one. And there's one other old Biggie, if I remember correctly. Um, but this is definitely was one on my wish list for a very, very long time. Um, I still need to get the Tupac. I do like Tupac a little bit, but Biggie's far and away the better rapper to me. Yeah, guys, um, this is definitely a grail for my collection. I don't know what more to say. Um, I'm, I don't even really care how much this one's worth. I know it's more than 60 bucks, um, but this one is going to go in the glass case with the rest of my top grails. So, yeah, guys, this is um, a very, very good box. Shout out to Surge Up Mystery Boxes. Definitely check them out. Like I said, um, they're on Instagram. That's the best way to get them. A lot of people have been asking me through um, the videos, and I guess I haven't done a good job of letting you guys know, so I apologize for that. But they're on Instagram. Check them out. And, yeah, it looks like they have some huge grails, and really glad that I got one of them. This pop is going for... Four hundred and forty dollars. Four hundred and forty dollars for Biggie. Wow. <laughs> so I'm at a loss of words, guys. You know, I'm trying to hold in my excitement on camera a little bit, not go too wild, but I'm ecstatic at the moment. So there is one other Biggie. This one right here, that's going for two grand. It's a black one, uh, metallic. I thought there was a glow in the dark one, but maybe I'm making that up. But uh, I think the only biggie I'm missing now is the, the 10 inch one and the album one. And I don't know if I'll get those or not just because they take up so much space. But this is the prize of the day. One of the best pulls I've done in a very, very long time. So extremely hype about this. So guys, check out Sturge of Mystery Boxes. I mean, 
and all in all, four pops, no duplicates, and I got two biggies I didn't have with this being the top grail. So I can't complain. Very, very happy. Here's the total value right there as far as how I did. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What your favorite one is. I know if you're probably a Tupac fan or don't like rap, you're probably gonna have a different favorite than mine, but it was pretty clear and obvious which one I wanted the most and which one I liked the best. So let me know your thoughts. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at ThePopSavage. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.